tonight. We are beginning tonight with plans to add 12 new businesses to the Marina Dunes Shopping Center. Tonight, city leaders voted down the project. A majority of people who spoke at the meeting were in favor of the development, but wasn't enough for city leaders to sign off. Action News reporter Bryn Whitaker is live in Marina with our top story. Aaron, the council members who voted down this project didn't like the design. They say it wasn't walkable enough and it was too car oriented. But the residents who spoke at the meeting tonight completely disagreed. They want those restaurants and they want them now. It's just a sad state of affairs when you thumb your nose at revenues. It's something that the citizens want. One after the other, people pleaded with the council to reconsider saying no to the development that would bring 12 new businesses in between the shopping center and the new movie theater. We have a situation where the people of Marina want something to happen. That a number of people are wanting to thwart that by bureaucratic mechanisms. Councilmember Nancy Amadeo was one of the two city council members who was rooting for the development. She says she is ashamed of her fellow council members for letting huge revenue walk out the door. Disappointed is, um, is, is putting it lightly. It is like a siphon sucking money away from Marina not to have them. Ultimately, the conflict comes down to a part of the city's general plan that requires multi-use sites like this development to have a certain floor area ratio, meaning they want developments built at a higher density level. And because this development doesn't meet that ratio, the mayor says the overall feel of the downtown atmosphere would be lost. So when you go to Del Monte Shopping Center or Cannery Row or Alvarado Street, their building space compared to their parking lots is very high, so they have a high floor area ratio to make it more people friendly and more economically successful. The mayor says that even though the development would have brought in tax dollars, voting yes would have been too big of a compromise for him to stomach. For the sake of a burger tomorrow, we don't want to give up decades of economic robustness. Now, the developer of this project is a local couple out of Monterey. We did reach out to them after the meeting, hoping to get a comment, but they refused to comment after the meeting. Reporting live in Marina, Bryn Whitaker, KSBW Action News 8.